Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. Right, so when we last left off, we were being sieged by these guys here. I've been thinking, I've been thinking, this is... <laughs> right, so we've been sieged by these guys. Alright, so the thing about mortars is they're highly inaccurate, but I think the plan that we were going to that we were going to employ was which is to build a door here and then to gorilla um well aggravate them is uh probably is what uh, we need to do so i think if we can get squirrel after they've uh, so squirrel's going to get their breakfast and then after that we'll move on did he where are you going you are going past the pirates to mine no no, no, you're not doing that. I tell you what, you are going to... No empty space configure to store it. Ah, I tell you what. Right, Diddy, I really want you... Where is items? AI persona call. Yes. I've had an idea. What I think we should do... Oh, Diddy is not a holler. Is Diddy ever allowed to be a holler? Is this something that I... No, no, you can be a holler. Right. Go and get that. Right. What I was thinking is, is perhaps we can make a dash um, for the end game. Instead of... I think I think that's probably what we should try to do. So the end game is basically... Um, we need to research up all sorts of things about spaceships and stuff. But um, I think we can probably do that fairly quickly with the dedicated researcher. Um, and then what we need to do is, well, in my mind anyway, is that we need to stock up uh, about nearly 11,000 metals so that we can build a, an appropriate... I think that will be a spaceship with about eight pods. I don't know if we've... how many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so maybe 10,000 metals, or maybe just a little bit less, will be enough for the colony that we've got today. If we get any more people, though, the, the, the cost will increase. But this, like, if you look here, we're mineral rich here, mineral rich here, here, and there's minerals here. I don't know if that's going to be enough for, for us to get up to the 10,000 mark that we're looking to get to, but I really think that we probably could. So after did, uh, did, no, Diddy Squirrel has finished eating, I want you to get to work. In fact, let's speed up the speed now. Okay, what was that? Okay, not too bad. Right, Squirrel, you are now drafted. Let's put you on slow speed. Right, this second mortar is nearly complete. Right, what I want you to do is target the mortar itself, if you can. What's... oh dear me. What I want to do is blow up the mortar. That's that's my uh, my aim. You guys need to be really careful when you're uh, outside here, because these people out here want to kill you. <laughs> okay, we've got 72 uh, health left on this mortar, 54, and then it'll explode, and there's a whole bunch of people around it. Ah, here we go. Right, what's just happened there? They've uh, fled. Okay, Squirrel, who's outside? Right, Squirrel, get back into into the base. I'm drafting you, and you need to get back into the base as well, as fast as you possibly can. I don't want. This has actually gone quite well. Now, what are these guys doing? Are they thinking about attacking? Are they thinking about it attacking? Are they coming for the door? Ah, oh, they're setting fire. Right. This is my wo this was my worry actually about putting a door here that they they wouldn't bother to try and come around this way. They would just try and bash through the walls. But we've took out an awful lot of the pirates. We've actually got someone who's alive here. Good at mining. Good at researching. Good at melee. Good at shooting. Do an herb world urchin. Uh, 
and they were also a, s uh, a military commissar. Blast was an internal spymaster in an Imperial Army Battalion. He made sure that the men were loyal and did not fall back unless ordered. This made him unpopular, but he gained great respect at detecting the slightest dishonesty. Give him a boost of three to shooting, but he's psychically hypersensitive, which is even worse than sensitive, so unfortunately we might just have to leave that individual there. Right, how many pirates we've got coming in? Seems to be three. What are they armed with? An Uzi. Okay, two Uzis and a pistol, right? We need to get you guys up there. As fast as we can. Go on, squirrel. Oh, there's four pirates, in fact. Uh, this individual is... Gotta get themselves killed. Oh, they're just... Right, okay. Well, we can deal with that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute, right, so we've got a fire blazing on here. They, 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 they deliberately set our little house on fire. Okay. Right, you guys are no longer drafted, so you can go back. Chef, what are you doing? Oh, you're not drafted anymore. Right, can we please go and deal with this fire that was, uh, that they set? Okay, actually, we dealt with that really pretty easily. I was, I thought we were going to be in for a heck of a a problem. Ah, see, this is the problem with what I think we need to right. What I think we need to do is just add the home region, just so that it covers this bit here, so that they put out all of the fire, because otherwise it'll just come back and cause us all kinds of trouble. Okay, come on. Right, there we go. Right, and I think what we'll also do is r now remove... Uh, well, actually, it's already removed, so I think what we'll probably do is put a, a metal wall in there. Uh, actually, no. Let's, let's just put a door back in there, actually. Oh, is there enough? Can someone come and uh, deal with this fire down here? Sorry about this, guys. This fire is not getting put out. Fires are, are quite a pain, actually. Unless you get every last little burning ember. Right. If we get a... See, they ignore fire that's not in the home region, so then it can quickly, as you can see here, get go out of control. Really need to get it under control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ideally, if it just rains, then that would be better, to be honest. Okay. Just see if that makes a difference. Okay, the fire is creeping out again, out of the home region. These guys can get on top of it as long as... Right, there we go. Right, now we can remove all of this... Not... Oh, what is happening here? A mad squirrel. <laughs> Okay, what other things is happening? People are visiting. People are visiting. Okay, fine. So we'll get the repairs done. I think what we'll also do is there's actually food here that they left. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of dead people, unfortunately. Uh, let's just have a little look what we've got. Weapons, a pump-action shotgun, air and R4 charge rifle. 
an M16, an L15. What's the info on that one? It's a light machine gun. Okay. Lots of weapons. I'm pleased the pirates uh, ran away. Right, what we'll also do is we'll claim all their stuff and then we'll actually just deconstruct it and use the materials. Um, right. Once everyone's had their breakfast then... Ah, excellent, we've got the AI persona call. Right, what I actually want you to do is strip this person and this person and this person and then I want you to bury them and squirrel I actually want you to uh, bury someone as well squirrel is not a hauler, a squirrel is the only one that can't be a hauler isn't it? yes, did he? then I need you to bury the dead but squirrel I will have you to strip this individual here Chef, what are you doing? That person seems to have clothes on. Yes, they do. Right, I want you to strip them first before burying them. And then bury the clothes. Who's got the mental breakdown? Squirrel. Why? Ah, yes, because you're hungry and you've observed rotting corpses. Well, we're trying to deal with that situation at present. Okay, what's this? Wreckage. Metals. Lots of metal. Right. Good. What's happening now? More wreckage! Goodness me, wreckage is everywhere. What is the wreckage? Oh, it's shells. Okay, there's sometimes we can use them for uh, trading purposes. Right, anyway. Chef, how's your, uh, what are you doing at the moment? You're eating. Okay, I think you'll get on with, alright, so you're actually burying someone, that's fine. What is this? Well, that's a pistol from the lady that was abducted by the pirates. Okay, I think we should probably start thinking about repairs now from when we had the mortar attacks. Actually quite pleased about Okay, what's happening now? Tribes people are coming. Man, they're coming thick and fast. Right, they're thinking about attacking but they're not actually attacking at present. And it's raining and there's fire. Okay, now they're attacking. Which way are they coming? Down. Chef, if you don't mind, can you just get back inside the base? Right, now where are they going? Now he's going to be the test to see if the... Ah, they want to kick in our front door. That's what they want to do. Right. Uh, okay, so that actually is not working quite as well as I, I was hoping it was going to. Let's just have a look. Moving. There's quite a few of them this time. Okay. Squirrel, you're up. Chef, you're up. London. I don't think it really makes a difference, to be honest. Right, they're, they're coming through here. I might have to remove this this doorway here because you know, this, this is obviously a weak spot for these guys to come through and I have to build something here to make it convenient for them to want to come this way. 
Okay. Nico. You're drafted and you're going inside London. You're drafted and unfortunately it looks like you're going to have to get on the front line there. Squirrel, really need to get yourself out of the way of the turrets. Okay, Nico. You need to get yourself down here. And try not to get killed <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Okay, what are these guys doing? They're kicking in the doors. Oh man, Nico's been hit. Bite, draft. You have to go into this corner here. Did he? Yeah, I'm going to have to draft you as well, but you're not any good of anything. What are they doing? Some of them are running away. Okay, alright, not bad. This is not perfectly ideal though, to be honest. Is Nico actually dead now? No, Nico's not dead. I'd rather the Nico don't be dead. What's the problem with Nico? He's got a stab to the neck. Oh dear. If we can just get on top of this situation with the uh, Diddy this is going to explode soon I can just tell uh, no Diddy, no, 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 I didn't actually mean for you to go there I was just contemplating you going there okay I'm thinking these guys are probably going to run away at some point soon what have we got? Food. I'll take that with that food being there. <laughs> Actually destroyed our wall there with their bows and arrows. Is that what they're shooting? Yeah. Right, squirrel. Who can you see? Everyone. I really didn't expect them to come from this direction, to be honest. Alright, Squirrel, can you shoot this person then? Okay, Chef, get yourself down here. Squirrel, likewise. So we're going to have an explosion on our hands. Okay. Squirrel, p put yourself there. Chef, put yourself there. Start firing at these people. Bite our blind researcher is probably going to get killed. <laughs> get back. Oh, back, 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 back. We need to lure them in. See, this is why I, I would like to put a wall here, but. Oh, Nickel's starting to suffer. Are you starving? No. Uh, blood loss. Well, I did actually, I didn't really expect um, this episode to include having to fight a whole bunch of uh, tribes people. Ah, and it's only Squirrel that's got the range to actually do anything. Out of interest, what kind of weapons do we have down here? I don't think we've got anything that has range, do we? An M16. Good range. What's this got? A light machine gun. What's the charge rifle do? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's bite. Who's actually better? Is London? I don't think London isn't any good at shooting. No, but is mine any better? Diddy, I don't think you're any good at all. No, that's why you don't have a gun. Oh. Okay.
Okay, what I think we shall do. Ah, chef. I want chef to get the M16. If you can get across without dying. Man, I re we really need another entrance. Oh no, we've got an explosion coming. I don't really want to have to expend all this material in this defense. I mean, it's better than completely being destroyed though, I suppose. An awful lot of dead bodies about as well. Okay guys, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to leave it here for now. Let's save. Crash town. Okay, so when we come back, what, we'll, what we will be doing is um, finishing off these guys and then probably cleaning up the dead. Um, and then after that, I think what we'll do is start getting ourselves back on track. Um, heal up Nico. Um, and then start collecting our materials because now, thankfully, this little gift fell out the sky a couple of episodes ago and we can actually start to think about leaving this planet which I think that we should attempt to do um, and that might be actually the long-term goal of the the let's play to leave the planet um, yes I think that's what we should do and try and do that as quick as possible uh, but the, with the enemies coming thick and fast I don't know if we'll be able to dedicate we'll have to, well, we'll have to rebuild our defenses as well and probably think about why this didn't work. They just came and kicked in our doors. Anyway, well that'll be for then guys, so until then, stay safe, take care of yourself, goodbye.